Hey everybody, today on Nation, we are gonna be talking about the do's and the don'ts of window cleaning. Yes, you may know them, you may not know them, but either way, stay tuned for WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you're here. What's up? Thanks for tuning in. First off, I want to start the show by saying if you called last week, or you emailed, or you texted, I was out of town. I was, I was on a surprise vacation and had no signal. So I reset everything and say, hey, I wasn't out of town and none of it triggered. So a lot of people who I just didn't respond to for a whole week. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh, all that brand name stuff you guys are uh, letting me get uh, has been awesome. So I want to start by saying that. If you called last week, sorry. But call me this week. Either way, one other quick thing for you. If you want to be awesome, if you want to be epic, if you want to be, just make my day. Go to windowcleaner.com slash review. Windowcleaner.com slash review. It's super easy. Fill out a Google review on that page. Just click. You can click it. It shows you exactly where to go. And write a review with my name in it. We're doing a competition right now, and I want to win it. I want to win. I want us to win. The nation and me. Go do a review. The only thing you have to do is make sure my name, Jersey, is in that review. And boom, I get credit. Let's win this thing. Let's do that. Cool. Go out and do that. It would be super, super awesome. And uh, of course, I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. Please do order through me. I see some of you ordering through the website. Don't do that. Order through me. Shoot me a text. Put it in your cart. Do everything. Instead of hitting the 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 checkout button online, hit your text at 862-312-2026 and say, my order is ready. Put it in. Plus, at the end of the show, I'm going to give you a code for 5% off that you can only get through me. So do that. But uh, yeah, I see a lot of you guys putting orders and don't think it, uh, it affects me negatively uh, if you put an order in through me. It can only be positive. I get no, uh, no like kudos, high five credit or anything if you put it online. So always, always do it through me. Thank you very much for doing that. I want to give a quick shout out to a few folks. What's going on to Jeff Hosington? What's going on, man? Probably pronounced that maybe correct. What's up to Andrew McConnell? Uh, Danger Mouse, of course, giving me the show ideas. I love it. And Brad Hyatt, the man, he's back. What's going on, man? One of the OJ Cool Kids who is a listener, not a YouTube watcher. If you want to comment, comment on YouTube. This video is up there too. Just search it. I know it's a lot of work, but uh, search it if you want to say something. Say what's up. If you're watching on YouTube already, make sure to click the thumbs up, of course, because that pats my ego and uh, make sure that you comment. Well, anyway, that was a long, long intro. All that being said, it's super, super easy. Give me a review. Buy your supplies through me. Could have been that short. Anyway. All right. So this week we're talking about do this, do that. Do this, not that. Um, I know a lot of guys have kind of done this. This is like a style of video that's kind of online, I guess, for a lot of different things. Eat this, not that, that kind of thing. But I know that we've talked about uh, these are the five top things to do for summer. These are the top five things to do for this. These are the top five things not to do. But we haven't talked about both. So that's what we're going to do. If you like the format, definitely tell me. If you like the show, comment. Because that makes me feel so warm and fuzzy. Um, But anyway, there's a lot of do's and don'ts. And just remember, I'm just some dude with a microphone who just happens to put a video out. I am not always right by any means. Please let me know if I'm wrong. A lot of you do. That's awesome. Thank you very much. But let me know if I'm wrong. If it's not right, if uh, you have a different opinion, that's totally cool. These are just my ideas and uh, kind of what I like. But I'm telling you, these are tried and true. If you don't know, I've had a window cleaning company for 15 years, which officially is now sold as of the last, like, I've been like a month out of the game, technically. Obviously, I work more than now than I ever did. But uh, I don't legally own a window cleaning company anymore. Uh, But these have been tried and true for the years. So there's a few of them. And not only are we going to talk about the positive, the negative, the do's, and the don'ts, but why? 
And the whys, guys, if you ever find anything out or you learn something or somebody says something, ask why. Like the why gets the understanding of why or if something works. And if you know the why of something, then you can make your own decision on if it works for you or not. Because not everybody is in the same market. What I like doesn't necessarily mean you like it. That's like the rubber debate or the soap wars or anything else where two guys are arguing about Ederay and Black Diamond. I love Ederay. I love Black Diamond. I hate Ederay. I hate Black Diamond. The reason they're arguing and they think it is because for them, that's their truth. But it's not truth. It's their opinion. But it's their truth, right? So a lot of guys get this. It's like the water fed thing. Man, why argue the water fed thing? It's a Ford and Chevy. Chevy guys hate Ford. Ford guys hate Chevy. There's no real reason they're both great trucks. Now I'll get some angry emails from that. But anyway, that's the truth of the matter. But the first thing to go over on the do's and don'ts is do advertise when you're busy. Okay, so right now, hopefully, you guys are super, super, super duper busy. Uh, You should be advertising right now. Why would I advertise? I'm busy. When you advertise when you're busy, it's because other people are thinking about your services. If you advertise, your message is going to be received so much better. You're going to fill even more and you're going to go filling it up into the time where you're not normally busy. Okay? So you always have to advertise when you are busy. The big problem is is that a lot of us get too busy to advertise. So that's where the marketing calendar comes from. We talked about that in a previous episode. Go back, watch, or listen to that. But if you have a marketing calendar, make sure that you're following it. Make sure that every Monday you go in, you see what's happening that week, regardless of how busy or crazy you are. It's another 50 hour week for you. I'm sorry. Make that money while you can. We're like squirrels. But make sure that you're staying to what your marketing plan says, because that's that's big. That will help you stay on task. It will help you. It'll help you achieve everything you want to achieve, no matter what else is going on. It's very interesting to to kind of have that marketing. But advertise when you're busy. It's the same reason that there's gum in the checkout line. Nobody goes to the grocery store like, oh man, I need some gum. I'm going to go to the grocery store. They go there and they put it in the aisle because when you're standing in line waiting, you look over and go, oh, gum, grab it, right? That's what you need to do is you need to be in front of them when they want it, which is now. We talk about it again with cheeseburgers. You can have a billboard with the best looking cheeseburger ever, but if it's like six in the morning, that billboard doesn't sell anybody because they don't want cheeseburgers. Or if you just ate and you see a cheeseburger, it doesn't do anything. But it's there when somebody is hungry or when somebody wants a snack or a lunch or a dinner, right? You have to be that way. You have to advertise or strike when the iron's hot if you want to go cliche-wise. Do it. But on that same note, don't advertise when you're slow well that's what you're supposed to do when we don't have business we have to get business no that's not how things work it's not how things work if you have a rain happening a storm or a hurricane or something's going on right now out your window you look and it's like man it is coming down there is a very 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 high likelihood you can't sell services at that exact moment because it's not in people's brains. You can't go and say, hey, I know it is, uh, we're supposed to get 12 inches of snow tonight, but I would love to clean your windows. They're going, no, they're snowing. Snow is what's on our priority. So you can't advertise something somebody doesn't want. And there's certain times a year somebody wants your services. That's why we're so busy in spring and fall. Yes, there's houses that go monthly and houses that go every couple weeks. I've had those. I have them. They're awesome. But it's not the norm. The norm is six times six. That would even be nicer. But six months, that's the norm. Spring and fall, spring and fall. That's why we're busiest in spring and fall. But you have to strike when the iron's hot. If nobody wants a service at that time, don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. I know guys who have like winter. January comes around. They didn't save, which sucks. We've all been there. It's, oh man, dude, I need this money, man. I I can't eat if I don't have this money. I'm going to take, I have $3,000 left in my bank account. I'm taking all of it out. I'm going to leave my $5 in there because that's what I need to keep the account open. I'm going to buy all postcards and send them out. January. Guess what? You just gave away $3,000. 
you could have had that $3,000 to buy food for the month because you're not getting work on that. You're just not. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm not. <laughs> right? The next one, do wrap your truck or cars or whatever. Bobby Walker, the man, the myth, the legend. I'll be on one of his podcasts here coming up, but uh, the journey of a new entrepreneur. He just wrapped all of his stuff and he did it so tactfully. It was so great. Some people want to wrap their trucks or vehicles so that it's this big billboard. There's a thousand words. It's so busy you can't read it. Remember, the best billboard in the country is a picture of a burger and an M logo for McDonald's. That's it. No words, no phone numbers, no web. No one has ever looked at a billboard and pulled a website off of a billboard. No one has ever even seen a phone number and pulled it off. Because a phone number, you have to write it down. You're driving. You can't write a number down. You're not on your phone. You can't do any of that stuff. It's the same thing in your car. On your car, yes, put a phone number, put a uh, website and all that. Fine. Sometimes somewhere, somebody will be stopped at a red light. They'll be able to do it. Perfect. But for everything else, don't list every service you offer. Because no one's reading all of them. No one's getting to the sixth, seventh thing going, oh, I need that. If you say window cleaning and pressure washing, every other service, a gutter cleaning, roof cleaning, and concrete cleaning, and all that other stuff that you have in your in your little area, that can all be upsold. But don't go crazy. Make it easy, clear, precise. Make sure that they can see and know you're a window cleaner. Make sure they can see a phone number. Boom. Wrap it just to get eye-catchy attention. His is yellow and black, and they are so eye-catching. Go check it out if you haven't. It's a journey of a new entrepreneur. Uh, go look at his vehicles. They're pretty awesome. Um, and you don't have to wrap. You can go with nice vinyl. A lot of uh, my trucks were single color vinyl. Single color. Now, multiple colors, but layered, right? To make multiple color, but not wrapped. And we had giant uh, part of a globe um, was uh, the logo. And it was on the entire back of the truck. It was like half cut off. Because it was just one of those things that like registered, eye-catchy truck, something different than everything else. It wasn't busy. It just said, the company name, window cleaning and pressure washing, phone number, uh, web address. Easy. Easy. Get the information out there. The one thing I would say not to do in that is don't go with the magnets. I mean, I know some of you are new and uh, that's all you can do. It's better than nothing. It is. But... Uh, you're trying to put an image out there and your image now and forever will be clean. You make windows clean, you make houses clean, you make roofs clean, you make everything. No matter what services you do, you make them clean. If you're a carpet cleaner, what do you do? You clean the carpet. You're supposed to be clean. You're supposed to look clean. Your trucks are supposed to look clean. You're supposed to exude clean. If you had a guy who was like, oh, I hired this maid and they show up just looking like a dumpster, you're not going to hire them. You're like, how? They can't even keep themselves clean. How are they going to clean my house? Right? Think about it. Everything you touch has to be clean. Make that clean. If we're going into winter, plan on some vinyl stuff. You know, Vinyl is super cheap um, to get somebody to print some stuff up. So maybe uh, winter is the time you get that put on. But the don't is don't go naked. Don't go naked. I know some of you have nothing in your car. Oh, I don't want to put anything on until I can get the wrap. Don't do that. If you show up to somebody's house in a vehicle that has nothing on it, there's no permanent recognition that that vehicle is to be there, that's kind of sketchy. Like That does not exude like what you're trying to go for. It just doesn't. That's the same thing with the magnet signs is that a cable installer or like a satellite dish installer, those guys have magnet signs because they do other things on top of it. You want to look like, this is what I do. This is what I focus on. This is why you hired me because I'm a professional and do that. So get your logos on your vehicles and don't go naked. If you're going naked right now, tell me because I want to know. Comment down below. Tell me why you are going naked. Tell me. Uh, the next do and don't is do you have a website? Facebook, Instagram, and MySpace. All right, well, not MySpace, because MySpace, I don't know if it even exists, but I don't want to hear your top six songs, and Tom doesn't need to have so many friends. But everything else with the website, Facebook, Instagram, those things are gold. Gold. What do people do all day, every day? Look at your, and this is my sexist term, but my wife is guilty, but look at your wife's phone and what she does. She's on Facebook all day long, Instagram, right? You guys probably are too. What do you do when you go to the bathroom, right? You're not reading shampoo bottles anymore. We're all on Facebook 
look at the, the, the new thing that came out on the phones in the Apple is the face uh, uh, screen time. Screen time shows you how long you're on there. It's so absolutely saddening and expressive when you can see that. Part of my job here at windowcleaner.com is to go through Facebook pages and stuff. So I'm on a lot. But Facebook and having a presence gets you in front of people. Not only are there paid options, and I'm not talking about that at all. At all. I'm talking about a Facebook and Instagram costs you zero dollars to have a presence. Make some cool pictures. Window cleaning can still be cool. Look at Luke's stuff or Michael, uh, which is uh, Mike the Window Guy. He Mike's Mike's stuff is like ridiculously awesome. It's like sexy to watch. It's sexy to look at. That's what people want. Like I build furniture, and nobody wants to watch a real how-to build furniture. Like oh, here are the dimensions. Nobody does that. They know that people just like to see other people creating, just like people like to see other people cleaning. It sounds weird, but I'm telling you, something really dirty and watching become clean, they call it pressure washing porn or any of that stuff. There's whole subreddits about it, where it's just something's dirty and they're making it clean, right? Do that. Make a presence. Don't be salesy on absolutely everything. There's no need. Make it so that people always know it's you. They always know that it's your stuff. You know, they can go to your page. They may watch your videos. They may like it. They may not. You may not get any traction for a while, but make sure there's a presence. That's Facebook and uh, Instagram. Those are the big ones. The other one's a website. A website's going to cost you money to do it right. But I'm telling you, if you have a bad website, it's as good as having no website. I'm telling you. No one's gone onto an Angel Fire Garbage Comic Sans website with multiple colors and flashing GIFs like, Oh, this is, you're not selling stuff. You have a good website, which by the way, uh, there is no affiliate link or anything like that. But, uh, Justin Monk with Monk SEO Monk, Justin does amazing, amazing stuff. He's on all the Facebook groups of pro window cleaning and, uh, pro window cleaning newbies and stuff. Just search Monk M O N K. Justin Monk does amazing stuff. His SEO stuff is ridiculously awesome. He's super affordable. He's got lots of different packages and he's fast. He's just an awesome guy. That's my plug for him. If you don't have a website, check him out. Tell him that Jersey sent you because he's a good guy and I want you to know that I'm talking about him. But get a website. That website will work for you regardless of what time it is. Day, night, anything. It will work for you. It will sell. Don't be a ghost. If you don't have anything, it's as bad as going naked. If you're like, ah, I don't really advertise. I don't. Cool. Like, fine like you know what's best for your company not me but for everybody else who's like oh, i just haven't gone to it yet i want to make a good website before listen you have to have a presence be a presence because if i'm searching window cleaner and i type online window cleaner you don't pull up you don't exist best place on the internet to hide a body is the second page of google no one's looking there no one is going to search you out by name because they don't remember your name. No matter how much you remember your name or your family remembers. Oh, Mike's window cleaning? Oh, yeah, they always call, just call Mike. No, you know what they did is they had to pull up an old invoice or they pulled up an old uh, email or they pulled up a, a business card or somebody went online and was like, ah, oh, what is that? It's some guy. They, they only remember you when they need you. You have to have a presence. So don't be a ghost online. Go and uh, get that. Facebook and Instagram is free, man. Free. Uh, the next do is do call postcard and email your existing customers. Again, super good dude uh, that uh, watches the show said that he doesn't and it, it blew my mind. So I'm thinking some of you also, also some of you don't. If you're not calling your customers, if you're not postcarding them, if you're not emailing them, if you don't have all that information and you're like, no, I don't want to be pushy. You're not running a business. You're just running a convenient thing that they can call if they decide they want to. Like if you're not advertising that stuff, calling to the people who already go there, you're wasting that opportunity. If you have 100 customers, just 100, and you never call them, you never Facebook, how many do you think are really coming back? Now, say I sent out a nice postcard. I'm not pushy, you could throw it away, something kind of cool, right? Say I do a call in the spring. Hey, Mrs. Jones is Jersey calling from XIZ. Uh, we're just putting together our spring schedule and I didn't see it on there. I thought I'd call to see if it was something you wanted to do this year. I'm telling you, from somebody who's done the call list for 10, 12 years, it is amazing 
Not only does it boost everything, boost everything. It boosts your spring. It gets a kick start. It kick starts your fall. But people go, oh, thank you for calling me. I would have completely forgot. I was going to call you. I forgot. All right. You are the ones to remind them. I always say, window cleaning is in my brain, not yours. Oh, that's a good point. Ah, oh, I'm so busy. You know what? My kid broke her arm uh, three weeks ago, and it's just been crazy. Your kid broke your arm three weeks ago, and you couldn't remember to call a window cleaner. Nothing is that con- puts together, but people just have excuses for being busy. Awesome. Be as busy as you want, because I'm going to remind you, because it's my job to remind you. Please, please do that. I'm telling you, if you're not doing that, you will you will increase your business jumundously. Is that a word? Jumundus? Jumungus? It's like humongous, but jumbo, kind of all... Com- I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, but go ahead and do that. It's it's huge. I'm telling you. Telling you. Another uh, don't in that is don't be forgotten. And that is a hard one. So even with somebody... A little bit of a story time. But even with somebody who um, tracks everything. Everything. You will see a sad, sad statistic. And that is the number of people who have not used you in a year or more. And you're going... Wow, that can't be all people who have died or moved. It can't be. Otherwise, funeral homes are making uh, killing. Ah, ah, no, <laughs> no pun intended. But they can't all be that. There is a huge, huge, huge section of people who will forget about you, even if you respond and remind them all the time. The reason is, is because you send them stuff. You call them. Ah, oh, no, I don't need it right now. That's what I. They go and book something, or they go on like, oh, you know what? These windows, uh, they're looking pretty dirty. Window cleaning. You may not be the only one pops up, right? Even if you're first, you may not be the only one. They'll call somebody. Say they called you, got your voicemail, because for some reason you were busy. You couldn't answer that phone at the exact time. They just call the next guy, and the next guy says, yeah, absolutely. We'll get out there, and we'll uh, take care of that for you on Tuesday. Okay, great, thanks. Now you call them back and say, hey, uh, just calling you to, f- you know, you just missed a call. Oh, no, we got it all taken care of. We hired with a different company. They didn't have loyalty to you. That's the big thing. A lot of people don't, and I understand that. It's the same thing with what I do. A lot of guys who I put in orders for, I don't put all their orders in. There's not really that strict loyalty. There's no real incentive to go with, you know, to, to put me in other than just help me out. So there's a lot of that stuff that gets undone. You get forgotten. You have to create a presence. You have to be seen. You have to remind people you exist. Every single human in the entire country, and I will bet money on this, every single human that's above the age of four, we'll say, knows what mcdonald's is right that's a fair assumption poor people eat there rich people eat there at least know of it they're everywhere there's thousands of them in the country now we're talking u.s right but yet mcdonald's advertises on news papers they advertise on commercials billboards magazines buses everything radio why do you think that is do you think because they're getting new customers no they're selling and reminding people that they're there. They're reminding people, ah, uh, you remember what a Big Mac is? Ooh, Big Mac. Big Mac's back. <gasps> Sing the song of the Big Mac song. That's what people do. That's what McDonald's does. They remind people, and they remind people to c- continue to be relevant. Now, think about a window cleaner or a window cleaning company that somebody's only used once, and they only used it when they were really dirty or whatever. you are be forgotten. If you, if you choose to be forgotten, that's your thing. But have a presence. Call them. Remind them you exist. I'm telling you, they will respond beautifully. Next one is uh, do the services that are in your wheelhouse. Do window cleaning, pressure washing, gutter cleaning, eh. roof cleaning, concrete cleaning. Do that. I am an exterior cleaning company. Some of you do, you know, carpet cleaning is kind of on the same line. Do the items that you need. Because here's the truth is that everybody's got their hand out with money. And the money is in their hand. And they have that money to spend on services. They know that they have certain things that have to get done. They know, oh, man, i got to have the siding done and the windows done and all that. They know that. 
but they don't know who all to call. Because they may call you and go, hey, you know what? We're going to have to postpone those windows because our pressure washers can't get out until uh, next month. Well, great news. We do the pressure washing. I can do the house washing and follow right up with windows. You'll be all set and done. Right? Doing those items that are right there that pair very well. You're already up there. If you're not using water fed, you're on a ladder in doing the windows. Why not extend the ladder a little bit more to get the gutters? That's what people think. That is connected, very close, kind of all stuff that's in your, your core and it makes your core stronger. The other thing on that that you tend to not think about is that say I only do window cleaning and I don't do pressure washing. Okay, uh, no problem. Let me call a pressure washer. Call up you. I'm calling you up. Hey, uh, do you guys do pressure washing? We do. Yeah, I, I have a house. Uh, I need to have that pressure washed before uh, these window cleaners come. Oh, well, we do window cleaning too. We'll give you a bid for both. Wow, okay. I save money. It's all done at one time. Guess what? You just lost window cleaning work because you didn't offer pressure washing. Grasp that concept. You just lost window cleaning because you don't do pressure washing, right? And vice versa. Now, I'm not saying everybody has to do everything. I'm not always right. I know that. But I'm saying that not only are you increasing because now you're selling more services, you're increasing your average ticket, you're increasing the possibilities of where you can get, but you're saving the lost customers from not having that. You're saving those customers. The other thing is if you do one and the other, say you do window cleaning, guess what? At some point in, in my touch, when I when I touch you, right, that sounded bad, but you know what I'm saying. The, the phone call or I'm meeting you in person or I'm seeing you at a home show, whatever. I would like to set up for window cleaning. Great, great, let's do this. Well, it sounds great. Awesome. Hey, just to let you know, we also do pressure washing. We do houses, we do roofs, we do siding, uh, stucco brick concrete, pool enclosure. We do it all on that. I now can sell somebody who came to me for window cleaning, pressure washing. They didn't come to me for pressure washing. They may not have even known that they needed pressure washing, but I'm going to sell them on it. I'm going to let them know I do it. It's the same thing, vice versa. If somebody comes to you and says, I just need a house wash. Cool. Hey, did you want us to, when we're all done to clean those windows? Oh, you guys do window cleaning? We do window cleaning. Yeah. We also do this service, this service, this service, this service. I'm going to be able to sell other people. So now instead of just touching people who are looking for window cleaning, I'm touching those people and the people who are looking for pressure washing. And I can sell both services, right? It's a very, very great thing to be able to do that. But the don't on that is don't be a master of none. If you're a jack of all trades, say you do window cleaning, pressure washing, gutter cleaning, roof cleaning, screen repair, we'll say, you also do dog poop picking up, lawn mowing, landscaping, painting, and uh, car detailing. Well, that's kind of cool. And you're probably doing a lot of different touches. But guess what? In my brain, because you're all over the place, you're not good at any of them. Because you don't do them enough to be good at them. You're just probably able to do them, right? It's like or getting a, a contractor guy who... When he comes in your house, what do you do? I do everything. I can do tile, carpet. I can do remodels, roofing, whatever. Okay. What if you hire a company that's a roofing company? Just between those two people in your brain, the roofing company is going to do a better job on your roof. Because guess what? They do roofs every day, all day. That's all they do is roofs. The other guy, he said he does tile. You do tile and roofs? You remodel bathrooms and you do roofs? Uh, you probably only do one or two roofs a whole year. You're probably not fast. You're probably not efficient. You may not even be as good as the other guy. That's what you're thinking. If you're a jack of all trades and a master of none, you've just defeated the whole purpose and you've gotten too far out of your wheelhouse. You've gotten too far out of your core. Stay in your core of services. Exterior cleaning services, that's where I live. That's where I like. So maybe you do too. And the final one, do buy your supplies from me. Huh? And don't. Buy them online. <laughs> oh, I had to throw that one in. I had to. I had to. No, definitely, guys. Though, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. So please, please do reach out. My number is 862-312-2026. That's a cell phone. So you can call me, text me, whatever. And uh, I, will always, I will always be able to help you. I want to be a rep too. So save that number. 
and uh, just text me and be like, yo, I watched your show. That way now it's saved in there, right? Do buy it. All orders, big and small, order them through me. I'm sorry I was out of town last week, but I am here now, and I would love to put all those in for you. And as a big favor, no matter when you're listening to this show either, go to windowcleaner.com slash review. Go there, leave a review, but it has to have my name in it, Jersey. Put that name in there, and uh, I get credit for that. So it would be absolutely awesome and epic and amazing. And here's the thing. This show, every week, have we have thousand-something. Like, the show in general has a few thousand listens every week. That right there, every single person who's listening, I would love to be a rep. I would love to be a rep. Love it. So please let me be. If you get anything from me, give me that virtual high five. Give me a call. I'm done babbling for this week, but please do go out there. Listen to the do's and don'ts. Give me ideas for shows. Thank you to Danger Mouse who did give me an idea. I'll be using that one coming up shortly. Put it on there. Comment on YouTube. Make sure to thumbs up. Call me for your supplies. That's the big one. That's how I make my cheddar. And yeah, leave me a review. Sure. What the heck? Also, uh, until next week there, go out there and be epic.